welcome, welcome, you guys. This is to uh, Toast by uh, Power. Sorry, damn. Powered by Toast, <laughs> Coast to Coast. Uh, we are your hosts for today. I am D, and we have. My name is Koo. I'm Monique. I'm Tina. And I'm Megan. All right. Welcome, ladies. We are glad to be here and glad to have you guys tuning in with us on today. So, ladies, what are we going to talk about with our people? I think we should start with how we met the beginning of Toast. All right. Whoa, boy. The story is behind that. <laughs> <clears throat> so, who's going to be the who was there first? I was there first. Oh, Mo, oh yes, the vet. Oh, I We're going to call her, a.k.a. Mo the vet. That'll work. I'm the vet in other areas, too. Oh, it's okay. Oh, well. I don't know about that one. Well, I'll say the crazy thing is we all met in GI. Yes. yes. Okay, so, so then Mo was there first. Yeah, I think I came to GI in 2015. Yeah, so oh, and I've just recently left when in November of last year. Yep. Okay. So I was there for a good time, seen a lot, heard a lot. That's why I left. <laughs> <laughs> and for those of you that don't know what GI is, gastroenterology. Yes, that's dealing with your colon, your esophagus, all that good stuff. We can have a segment on motility studies. <laughs> oh, yeah, pretty sure a lot of people don't know what that is. <laughs> All I have to say is anorectal. Yeah. <laughs> I know you know what that means. Right. <laughs> then who came after me? I think it was It was who. me. It yeah. Was me. I remember the day, the first day I went there, um, I was doing my interview and then they had me sit with the front desk and Monique kept talking about her. She just got back from Miami, was it? Facts. <laughs> Facts. Facts. See, look how her face lit up. Facts. <laughs> Really I was sitting there like, damn, she had a good time. <laughs> yeah. Snapchat got me in trouble. But it's all good. <laughs> I didn't know how to use it at that time. <laughs> a lot of inappropriate things sent through Snapchat. Yeah. Um, apparently, when I was dancing, I forgot to take my finger off the button and my phone was videoing under my dress the whole time. <laughs> <Yep. laughs> yeah. And it got posted on Snapchat because I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Good thing it only lasts for 24 hours. <laughs> oh, no, it was plenty of screenshots. Yeah. 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 So was... uh, when I got back to work, yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. That's all got... I heard about. That's all she yeah, That's yeah. all I heard about. Mm -hmm. on Victoria's Secrets. Or somebody's Secrets. No, I didn't have on any secret. Oh. The secret was out. Oh, the, the secret was out? The secret was out. Yeah, was your, out. Google was out. My Google okay. was out. The Google yep. in business. The Google, yep. business, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. That's what happened. You got a little Patron in your system, and you don't know how to use Snapchat at that current time. That's why I don't drink Patron. I stay away from that. It's good for you. No. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Patron and Ciroc, I don't mess with that. Ciroc is my thing. Crown Apple now. Things happen Tennessee. when I drink Ciroc. Oh my goodness, Captain, <laughs> for so, moments so we have to be able to witness at one point in our lives in my past life okay <laughs> you in this past life yes. that's yeah. about. Yeah. FYI yeah. that's definitely not good for your colon <laughs> yes <laughs> alright so so we were there for how long were we there for until Megan came along Ooh, we was there for at least at least a year you was probably mm. so would have made about two or three for me mm-hmm and then mm -hmm. this yeah. shit came along. I don't know why when everybody started in GI, everybody was like intimidated by me. Like they thought I was, y'all oh, thought yes. I was so mean. <laughs> you Look do, you kind of have, yeah, your, it's your face. I have a resting bitch face, but I'm not mean. <laughs> in your voice. When okay. you're not using your Harvard voice. It's I mean, but when you want me to use the Harvard voice, I can always cut it on and cut it off in a heartbeat. So, I mean, what the <laughs> hell? You play the cards well. I impression, Mo, because I, I met you through the computer. You was like, hi, or something. Yeah, yeah. That's so her Harvard that voice. My first, um, yeah, and plus Joanne. Uh, yeah, that was, was my right first there. So I had to, you know, oh, be so nice. It was fake. Thank you it for was. Oh, well, Yeah, I was, I was like, like, hey, girl, hey. And I was like, here we go again. No. Oh. You know, no. <laughs> I, never got I love that you now, though. though. I, no, I never got that impression. You know whose impression was the one that got me, though? Megan. I thought she was, like, innocent. Yeah, well, Megan <laughs> I thought she was in, normal. I thought she was normal. And then as the time progressed, we realized that she wasn't normal at all. Yeah, she mm -hmm. was the least normal. She was yeah. the least normal of us all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wasn't being mean, but when Megan first started, though, I didn't talk to her. <laughs> I just, I was busy all the time. I was doing everything under the sun. I didn't so like I was, her. Yeah. I didn't like nobody that came no. in after me, though. So you, it really didn't matter. I hate oh, you, damn. too. 
Yeah, up until I, I cracked. Yeah, up until I cracked, everyone thought that I had this perfect life, this wonderful husband, this great family. And then all of a sudden when I started like exposing it, you're like, no way. Slow yeah. no way. It was like a banana. No. She was like slowly peeling. Peeling and then we realized she was crazy as all bad shit. <laughs> but it's okay. She, she offered me. She you. I remember the first the first time I talked to Megan, <laughs> she was like, Oh, I made this salad. Are you hungry? And I'm like, I'm thinking like, I didn't eat lunch yet. Sure. And then she started talking to me about like dieting and, and going to the gym and stuff. And I'm like, girl, shut up. I ain't trying to go to the gym. <laughs> Nobody got time for that. Mm-hmm. But she actually ended up being my gym buddy. Yes. <laughs> yes. Because I'm the only one that want to lose weight, but I ain't going to nobody gym. <laughs> I, do, I do one damn sit up and my stomach still didn't go down so I You're gave up mm-hmm. I gave up on life that right, I point. needed to go down the first the first day I start eating a salad I need my stomach to go down but fupas are yeah. in so I'm gonna let mine hang out yeah. all summer long right, yeah. <laughs> fupas are in and mine will be out so if y'all catch me with my fupa out enjoy it cause yeah. I am <laughs> I am Mm-hmm. And then after Megan, it was Tina. Tina. Yeah, yeah it was when she me. came on, yeah. 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 But I have to say though, when I first started, like they had me sit with um, Kiki, and I was like, I just kept looking over my shoulder at you because, like, I was so nervous. At, oh, at Mo. <laughs> at Mo. <laughs> yeah. Because I was so nervous because you just like had this face, like you would type, and I can't explain what your face looked when you typed, and you're just, but your body would be like this, like, you'd just be like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> That's how it was. That's how it was, That's how real. it was. That's how it was, for real. It was very stressful. And I remember I kept looking behind me, and I kept, like, trying to, like, smile, but not too, like, creepy, like... To who? To yeah, mow? Yeah. around and just mow you like, what? Yes. You got the job. Stop kissing my ass. <laughs> what the hell? Hey, hey, hey. I mean, that's just how it was when that, that's yeah. how long, yeah, that's that how she is. Yeah. I didn't know nobody. I think, like, what? It was, how many, it was probably, like, what? Almost a good month before I, like, started my opening crazy up side. and we started yeah. seeing, <laughs> yeah, that I wasn't, like, normal. But you yeah, would was, co- we would come in and Megan would have, like, random ass pictures on our desk, on our computers. It, it, just random, mm-hmm. randomness. They still have one. I, I still have. I do. I have a, I have a little. Mine. I keep them. Yeah. Well, um, like while you... I was gone on vacation, do you remember? You guys had morphed me. Me and Monique did a morph <laughs> on Snapchat, yeah. and we called her Magnique. Yeah. And when I was gone on vacation, I came back with my picture on a missing sign. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We used to do things yeah. all the time. And I, they were. I was on a milk carton. Yeah. I was inside the fridge. We did. We put her in the. Little- food their lunches in my mm-hmm. area everywhere i went by the fax machine uh, it was a the, yeah oh yeah. no what about the part uh i think i went to lunch and i came back and i sat out and i'm like damn like i stink <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> out of the ordinary i'm like why the hell so I'm at my desk. I'm smelling everything She's on like, my body. I'm up under my arms. Oh, and I'm watching. And I'm, I'm watching. I'm smelling between my lips. Like I'm like, dude, why the hell do I smell like onions? I didn't eat no onions. <laughs> I know I showered this morning. Like I'm like, dude, what is going on? I'm, I was getting really worried. Then I found out that this broad had took some fresh onions and rolled them up and put them <laughs> under and behind my computer. And by them being so strong, Ooh, I was smelling are. it. And I'm up there just trying to be nonchalant. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, and you know, I'm going to smell it because it's right by the desk. So right. I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to have to go home and shower. Yeah. And I forgot how I found the onions. I think I was going to leave. Or something. Was like, dude, she pulled the onions from behind my damn desk. Yeah, they were actually green onions because green when onions. we on our health kick, we always use green onions on a lot of our no, stuff. No, that's because you were growing stuff and cooking all the time. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> healthy. Yeah, so I had green onions, so they were like half dead, so I couldn't revive them. So I decided to revive them in your area, and they do stink bad. <laughs> Only imagine you stink. But I want to know how did y'all get um, <clears throat> Cena out of her shell? It took a while because when Tina first started, we didn't like Tina. Oh no! Nope. Yes, mm-hmm. he was like, I know, yeah. right? I know. we didn't like. We didn't like. I didn't even talk to her. Yeah, she came in regular. Yeah. I, came came in regular. regular. I didn't even do anything. And I had already left. I right? Stank or nothing. Yeah, mm-hmm. I had already left the um, yeah, department. Yeah, we cool with her. Tried to get her opened up, and then it seemed like as soon as she started opening up, is when that mess kicked up. Yeah, oh I yeah, opened up right, right away. Right no. with the lies, with yeah. the lies that came through. Right. So versus us telling Tina like. We don't like you. We just kind of, she would talk and we would not look at her. We would not, she'd be like, I need help. We would just not look at her, not help her. 
but it was because somebody started a lie. So mm. after a while, we kind of started putting two, you know, two and two, two, two together. together. So we just told Tina, like, hey, this was what was said. This is why we don't fuck with you. <laughs> and she was like, I never Her said face that. Her exactly like it does right now. Yeah, she was like, yeah. I never <laughs> said that. <laughs> With a little bit more body language, though, to it. She was like, I never said that. That's not how it went. This is what was said. So then we kind of put two and two together. It was like, oh, okay. So then we start, you know, coming around to Tina. And then I let her rub on my boobs. And she's been stuck. <laughs> no. Yes, yeah, so if you, if you no, get to I, rub on Monique's boobs, you're in. It's over. Yeah, it's over. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's over. Well, no. Yeah, I'm still out. <laughs> <laughs> you were lying. <laughs> you better initiate her today. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they big and fluffy. You didn't rub them yet. They really cushion like shaman. <laughs> <laughs> they put cool to sleep all the time. All the time. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> um, yeah. Break people's necks. Have to go get see a chiropractor. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. So one of our uh, coworkers, she would always mess with me. So April, who it was. So I went up to her one day behind her. And I picked up my boob and I dropped it on her head. <laughs> so, you know, we laughed about it. She's like, oh, that really hurt, whatever blinds they skip. I'm like, that would leave me alone. So we left it alone. So <laughs> she came back to work and said she went to her chiropractor. And her chiropractor was massaging her neck and said, oh, my God. <laughs> uh, uh, what fell on your neck? Because it knocked you out of alignment. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, my... <laughs> She said, my coworker dropped one of her boobs on my head. She was like, can you not have her do that anymore? Because she knocked her neck out of alignment. <laughs> I've never heard that story before. No! Ask her about it. Yes. Yes. So I, oh, I wow. stopped dropping my boobs on people's heads. Because I knocked hers out of alignment. <laughs> out of alignment. And I ain't trying to go to jail. Right. Or get sued. To, or, yeah, or get sued. See, I tell yeah. people boobs my are heavy. Head. They don't In believe me. Yeah, they are very heavy. They, they are, are heavy. They're not. I don't know. To each his own. If you don't have them, then that's probably a lot of times why people want to go get them. But <laughs> if you're born with them, it's a whole different ballpark. Oh yeah, absolutely. You can't. You definitely can't take them out. Well, you, I guess you can. Yeah, you can. You got a breast reduction. Yeah. Yeah. That's how you get on that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you know what? I tell you, when I first came to uh, GR. I didn't know what to think. I was like, I walked in, I said, hmm, okay. I kept hearing your name. And I'm like, where the hell is she? That's right, because I was out when you, you was came. Out. When oh, she was out when out. I started. When I started. When oh, I mean, was she? That she was gone. But the funny thing about that is, <laughs> why do you look? <laughs> Megan was sitting in her desk, and I had to sit up for training. And I'm looking on the wall, and because I didn't know at that time that the desk was in the back. I didn't know where Monique was at. I didn't know where she sat. But I see all this black stuff. All these black pictures. Michelle Obama and <laughs> some other black ladies and stuff. And I'm looking at Megan on the side like, I'm like oh, she really like black people. <laughs> <laughs> okay. she, she, she got all type of black stuff up there. That's cool. Yeah, that's that's nice. And, and I kept looking at her like, but why is she that? It's another lady and another maybe them her friends or some old co-workers <laughs> or something. Yeah, and I just was tripping like, okay, she. I don't see no pictures of like her up there. So I was just tripping. <laughs> and I and I and I didn't get that impression that they didn't like because to me I fit in right away because they start saying stuff like um. You know how you talk to your buddies right away to me. They didn't know if I was going, if I'm that type of person. You know how you call people, yeah, bitch, please, bitch. You know, <laughs> girl, or something. Or they was, oh, that's like, when you know you slick. in with me. I'm like, bitch, right? They start talking slick right away, and I'm that type of person. I'm like, oh, okay, I fit right in here. Oh, so, oh you just and in there then, laughing? Yeah, and it's just going like, like right along. Like, oh, okay, well, this this gonna work out because. I fit in. They took to me because they started playing with me and joking to me. I didn't get a, a vibe that we don't like her. And then I, um, when I was sitting there when Monique wasn't there, it, I got a vibe from Megan and Bree. Like, I don't know who finna try her, but Meg, Bree was over there doing her typing. Megan was doing whatever she do. And I'm just sitting there like, ain't nobody gonna show me none, huh? These one of these situations where I'm gonna have to <laughs> learn on my own because both of them like we ain't fucking with her. That's the only impression I got until we were cool when I first started. 
And then one day I came in and everybody was acting shady. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, it must be some office drama, rumors going around. I ain't no part of that. Cause you know, I ain't do nothing. I ain't saying nothing about nobody. So yeah. whatever they own today, I'm gonna let them be. And then it happened, I think the next day again, I don't forget how I ended up finding out uh, what it was about, but I got called in the office. They told me it was a round table, but they said, cause of COVID, they can't have everybody in the office. Not knowing to me later, I figured that was some type of setup. So they was asking me, how was it going? And I was telling them, but in a way that how it was going, like, oh, this is going this way, this way. And then I was telling them that I was excited to get started, but a little nervous. And I was like, and so Bree, the phone rang and Bree was like, get it, Tina, get it. You know, and I was like, "Uh -uh. no, I'm not going to get it. I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet, Bree. And so they took that to Bree as if she was trying to tell me what to do, but that's not how I took it to them. Like she was making, you know, so the whole story about our little round table or how is it coming along in GI get turned around in a whole different way or something. I still don't really know, but I guess they brought Bree in, making it to Bree like, oh, you messing with Tina, you telling her what to do, and then that wasn't the case. She and was uncomfortable, she don't, it was just all that, and mess. I feel right, I never even had an inkling that none of this was going on until they started getting quiet. Mm-hmm. Both of them, Bree, and they wasn't like that at first. So I'm just thinking, okay, so I'm going on, but because I knew I didn't do anything, I didn't sweat it. Like, I'm gonna let them have their day. Mm-hmm. Everybody got their day or whatever, so I'm gonna mind my business. And then it came out somehow, I think Bree ended up telling me what they said because we was talking about something else and then Bree let it out and was like, yeah, Tina, and they said, you said this about, oh, my mouth hit the flow. I couldn't, from that day forward, I was just like, okay, now I know, you know. And I think that that was from the day, here. like, from the day that that had happened, I think that everything changed pretty much pretty quickly mm-hmm. because then, you know, Yep, that was a mess. I was like, oh, I'm thinking we family already. I just started. And then I couldn't believe that the managers would do that. You know, like go flip what happened. Like, why would you be leaders or managers? And you know, we all got to work in here together and go, what was, what did y'all get out of that? Come to find out down the line, it just seemed like they had it out for Bree. So it was like any little thing you said about Bree, they was going to take that and just explode it because they had yeah. it out for her. Mm-hmm. So that's why I had to figure she that out on my own. She's right. Yeah. So and by me mentioning her name and then Bree said somebody, well, you shouldn't have even mentioned my name. Well, first of all, I didn't know that they didn't, they didn't, they had it out for you. And it wasn't mentioned. It was the truth. It is what happened. And they asked me, you know, so it wasn't meant to go tell on you or nothing like that. So I don't do stuff like that. So if they would have called me in the office and be, be like, what Bree doing? What she didn't, then that's when I don't mention your name. You know, I ain't got nothing to do with that. You know, I don't know what you're talking about. But you know what? That brings me to uh, just kind of like our friendship mm-hmm. or people, friendships in general. Mm-hmm. A lot of things could be solved. If people would just talk, open their mouth, yeah, you know, yeah. you know what I mean, like because mm-hmm. we we didn't do that. We shut down instantly because we, I felt we felt it, like yep. we needed to re reevaluate the situation and just look at things. Like okay, like dang, you know, we didn't know Tina like that. From right. what we gathered, it was cool, but we was like, okay, is she one of these again? And we got to watch what we say and be, you know, mm-hmm. just strictly work and be cautious around, be her. cautious around her. And, you know, after a while, like you said, it was just brought to you. And we was like, dude, that's, that is real messed up when in your workplace, the main person that's supposed to eliminate the problem, the problem be the, the problem. main ones causing the problem. So, so, it's like, okay, after that, you really have to take it amongst yourself. But do well, you think, though, that because of that reason, because of the, what was going on, that, that that's what really brought us closer together? I think it did. I, yeah, think, I think it so did. Too. I think it did. I think because it did. I, I know um, for a fact that every one of us were played against each other. Oh, yeah. At one point. Except At me. one point. Yes, yeah, except, except you. Because they couldn't play me. No. No. Because <laughs> yeah. I walked in. I mean, you know. No, they... What? They played me at the most vulnerable time of my. They played yeah. me when my dad died. Oh, yeah. They played. They played me real bad when I came back to work after I had just buried my father. Um, I was real quiet, of course. You know, I was. I'm. I'm. I was grieving. I'm still grieving. It's still new. Right. And um, when I got back to work, I was pulled in the office, and I was told that my coworkers had issues with me. Um, I was told that my coworkers felt that I was bringing the department down. Yeah. <laughs> and um 
You still there? <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Are, and, and, are any of us there? Right. And you and just lost your dad. So why wouldn't you feel and some type right. of way? You're supposed to be happy. Right. I looked at her. I said, let me tell you something. I said, I don't know about you. I said, but I had an active father in my life. I said, I was, I, I was part of the decision where we made that decision to pull the plug. So yeah. I have to deal with that every day I wake up. Yeah. Every yeah. day I go to bed. Every day I want to call my dad. I can't. I said, so you think I'm supposed to just come back and just kick the pee and be happy and go lucky? And I dang near just buried my best friend. I said, oh, I didn't know it was like that. I said, but if you feel you brought me back here to say that to me versus telling them, well, she did just have some tragic happen. I said, you just as worse as they are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I got up and when I came back out to my desk, I was very quiet. I didn't deal with nobody until I found, you know, till I, I opened yeah. up that community, like everybody came back. You all right? And I'm just, you, y'all know me. I give zero. Y'all know me. I do not care. I'll tell you how it is. I'm like, no, I ain't got nothing to say to you. Right. See, I wasn't yeah. even there Don't for that. Yeah, you weren't there and for that. They, they did that and I'm to like, her oh. saying that her fellow co-workers had all this stuff to say mm-hmm. you they know did like- to her they told her mind you i was out on leave for having surgery mm-hmm. and they told her that i was one of the ones that had something to say about her i'm like how did i have something to say about the child i was out out i had just had surgery so that was that she, had to be right before i got there mm-hmm. yeah and she was like she said because she ended up reaching out to me while i was at home I said, I'm so high on drugs. I don't know what to do in my life. And you really think I'm going <laughs> to text somebody something about you? I said, negative. Not even an option. I said, I don't have no issues with you. I said, if I had issues with you, I'll just tell you to your face. Especially, you know, because we had that relationship. I said, I'll just tell you. Mm-hmm. I said, so she was like, I know she said everybody in the department had an issue. I said, that's how they came at me. So it was always everybody in the department versus the main yeah, ones who said it. We all know who the man was. I that out to later, and I had to deal with that. Like get over that. It was, it was kind of hard because I just come there to work. I just want to come work. You know, I don't want no office drama. I don't want to be a part of no drama and mess, especially when it's made up mess that mm-hmm. just cause a divi- division. You gotta come here and work with these people every day, and then for you to tell that l- young lady that stuff, and you don't know what she would do outside of work. How you know she wouldn't have somebody jump me or something like that? And then especially I punch the out in five minutes, meet me out back. Basically, <laughs> you don't know that, so you shouldn't do that. Then he all up in my face, like you just making it like you want to check up on me and how's it going and how's everybody treating you in a department and all of that. Good conversation, laughs, everything. Only for you to take that and go pick on somebody who you already got a problem with. Like mm-hmm. that, that was just so. So yeah, I didn't care for those well, two since, after that. Since we spent a lot of time on like the f- one, two, three, four. I can't count four of us. Let me ask D. What Five? was your four of us? D hasn't really said oh, anything D, yet. Okay, what was your first impression of all of us? <laughs> hey, you better tread these waters lightly because I ain't far did from you. Just you. laugh. <laughs> I damn did. That was very evil. I damn like, did. I cursed you out on the first day. I cursed you out right now. No, man. you didn't. I was gonna say no because when I first got there, you were quiet too. You were quiet. Uh, think, did you start like you had started like in the middle of the pandemic, right? Uh, yeah, the, mm-hmm. the, end, the second middle, year. Yeah, okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. The second year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but no, I was quiet because my own stuff. But the, no, we were, no but I'm yeah, just yeah, saying, yeah. yeah. You were quiet. Mo wasn't there yet. Uh, Tina was quiet. Me- <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why? A- I always get to laugh before you say my name. You can't even say my name before you laugh. <laughs> you were uh, busy. And... Uh, it seemed like you didn't want to train me. Yeah. Which, so, I, wait, 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 though. <laughs> not, not being funny. I felt that. However, I didn't hold that against her. Because the more I said, I said, oh, okay. I, it clicked. Everything clicked. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. She's doing all the damn work. Yep. That's yeah, why. Yeah. Yeah. You know you know what I'm saying? So yeah. it, it didn't, I didn't take an offense to it. Yeah, I was just so like. So um... probably after like the first, probably the first week. The first week. No, actually, the first day because I started answering calls on the first. Yeah, day. she did. Yeah, she did. I was, I was like, like, "What? I forgot." Wait, what? I was like, I was like "Oh, I like, I like you." Like, How's D doing out there? She's answering phones. I'm like, on the first day, girl, you better get that phone. <laughs> so I was like, I was like, okay. I mean, you know, I'm the type of person, no matter where I go, because you know, I'm not at the same place all the time. Um, you know, I try to help as much as I can. And you do. And even I if I that. don't know, I will still help. 
I might ask a lot of questions, but I'm gonna still help. I think that that's one thing that I really like admire and like about you is Me that you're too, always yeah. helping whether you know it or not. And that's one of the good qualities about you. Well, and but you know what? Here's my thing. When it comes to a workplace, yeah. If we're a team and we're supposed to be working together, well, that's what we need to do. Right, exactly. So if I see you doing something and somebody else trying to call you to do something else, hey, if I'm not doing anything, how can I help you? You know, what what do you need? Can I yeah. help you? Mm-hmm. Can you teach me? Can you, mm-hmm. you know? So between you guys is how I learned GI. Yeah. yeah. And now, yeah. <laughs> and, now, <laughs> and we really. will leave that at that. Right. <laughs> but we, we formed a, such a friendship for me, like my whole family know about you guys. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Everyone because my kids know about y'all. Yeah. You know, it is it's is is more than just a friendship to me. Like you said, we became family, it's we're family. sisters. It's, yeah. it's is what it is. You know, yeah. we may not talk every day, all day, which seconds we do, but <laughs> yeah. we do. Yeah. <laughs> I mean always... I'm I'm a late responder, but hell. Yes, you are. So am I. Go to hell. These claims, <laughs> these claims have been me. very busy. But you know, even still yet. Even if we don't talk all day, we know if something were to pop off, something were to happen. We're always there for each other. We're always like, there. dude, such mm-hmm. and such, X, Y, and Z. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> my eyes started itching and I didn't know my eye was right. I hate that. Do you know where your eye is? <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to hurt you. It's your bad. Okay. I was trying to say something and I was like, wait a minute. Oh this is probably not the right time. But, um, I choked on my spit. Uh, <laughs> see? I can't deal with my spit. You know, you're over here looking like you have a freaking <laughs> seizure and fall off your chair. <laughs> you're like, <laughs> oh, y'all should have stopped me dealing with that bug. Man, I was tripping, falling, screaming. That's when bad. don't you? Right. Every little thing. I know. All right. The so bug, now that we've kind of talked bug. about like how we met, you know, kind of shared a little bit about ourselves and all that, um, what is our podcast about? Life, friendship, family, sisterhood, like you said, family. Yeah, yeah, especially our everyday life, life. struggles, yeah. life, because that's it's sex. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sex. So, this is like <laughs> typical things that you know, any type of friends everybody talks about. But I think that the thing that's going to set us apart is because we're so different. Yeah, mm-hmm. yes. We're- yeah, we're, we're very at, diverse. We're di- yeah, yeah, we're very diverse. We're at maybe. different stages in our lives. Yep. We Absolutely. have different types of experiences. Yeah. Which are probably pretty similar once we start talking about them. Yeah. Right. But but the thing, you know, too, what I like about us is the fact that if there's something that's going on, we might have a situation that's going yeah. on. We can take listen to one another, whether it's whether we agree or disagree. Disagree, yeah. You know, we can still talk it out. And you may give me an, uh, you know, a thought like, wait a minute, you know what? I never thought about that. True. Thought about, you True. know, like that. So it is, it's informative yeah. as well. You know, mm-hmm. like you said, we're in different stages. Hey, mobile the house. Yep. Mm-hmm. Making part of the house. Okay. Well, you know what? I was getting ready to buy a house. So I'm sitting up here going stress now. They're like, oh, don't stress out. Da, 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 da. Mm-hmm. Like, you know? So yeah. That was like the worst six months of my life. <laughs> I mean, you both of y'all. Yeah, I felt um, it for both of y'all. It's, it's, a, it, it's a process that you really have to be mentally prepared for. I mean, I knew or I thought I knew because I watched Megan and I was like, okay. And you didn't because you kept tripping and I'm like, look at Megan! <laughs> <laughs> look at Megan! I watched, I watched Megan, but it seemed like at that time, I was like, I'm there for you, Megan. Then when they became my turn there i understood why you were stressed out i understood why you were crying i understood why you, why you hated life why you I tripping understood. yes because cool you, i'm like dude I'm, you know what i don't yeah. want the house no more it, it is what yeah. it is i'm just gonna rent and she'll go off on me and I did. oh why would you do that you just being stupid you need to do this you need to do that just go yeah. through it it's gonna be worth it in the end and i kept hearing that i'm like no it's not it's not going to be worth it because they're not going to give me the house. They keep asking for this. Mm, and- yeah, no, Monique was- had Monique had me feeling for you. You know, I don't pray because that's just not my religion. But girl, y'all, I was praying for Monique. Listen, I was praying for Monique. I, I even too, she had come too far. She was I so ready to give up. Right, right. Yes. Telling her like I wasn't getting what they want. Just getting people what they. Want. I was. Like, I, was I was praying was- to her dad, y'all. I was like. I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing this. Yeah. Listen, but... I was only sleeping maybe two or three hours. Yes. But it was bad. You can see like your face. I, I, yeah, it the was, dark circles. The dark I was starting to look like Oprah when the color purple. <laughs> Listen, baby. <laughs> baby. Not like, oh Sophia. Oh Sophia. <laughs> Listen. If they 
like, would have called Miss Sophia, I would have answered at that point. At that yeah. point, because I feel like at that, that point, y'all could have called me Celie, yeah. and I would answer because <laughs> listen, baby. Yeah. I know it was super stressful. It's I had very, very six stressful. closing days. Yes. Six. yes. I only had nope. I, they had they kept pushing it back because they needed this, they needed that, they couldn't use this, and I was just like, oh my god. Even when I went to close, yeah, had paid my deposit mm-hmm. and everything, I it still didn't get it wasn't reality until I actually held the keys in my mm-hmm. hand and walked mm-hmm. out and pulled out the parking lot. Right, yeah. right, right. See, that's why because I figured in y'all can't take it. You can't stuff. take it from me, and that's why I know a lot of people. I've seen a lot of people even on Facebook like, man, this house stuff, and I just nicely slide and they they inbox like look yeah i was there i was you don't give up because if you give up you're going to be mad at yourself yeah yeah because my thing is had we given up at that time in the future when we wanted to buy a house we would have had to do the same Mm -hmm. thing Mm -hmm. all over Mm -hmm. and i hope that that's what this podcast can kind of do is just a sharing or shedding light on our experiences Mm -hmm. and just kind of like somebody yeah on any any and every type of situation yeah Yeah. because i mean you're you know you people have to realize that you're not alone in you know in situations and um i think that's very important especially with these days yeah it a lot is of people well, somebody struggling. else's experience will help somebody else somebody probably was about to give up mm-hmm. but listening yeah. to our podcast and what we went through and how yeah. we got through it yeah. that would yeah. make sense because you I, never know the effect that you would have or your experience would have on somebody else absolutely. like just happen to listen oh let me check these people podcasts out and they hear us talk because i'm glad who can megan you said we should start a podcast because all the different stories we'd be sharing mm-hmm. with each other yeah our life each experience day amongst yep. ourselves we want to put it out there and it would help somebody else what oh I thought he <laughs> said, oh he said do you do gotta speak in the mic but yeah because you you do you don't you Just won't realize like oh, how it would help mind. somebody <laughs> Never mind. Right, you got the wrong one. I got got the wrong one. That way, I'm sorry. Swing it that way. I forgot. (laughs) That's a whole nother ballpark right there. Yeah, that's a whole nother ballpark. Don't, don't even yeah. try. That's a no. Every time yeah, he gets close, another segment no. right there. Yeah, that's, that's, that's why she keeps backing up that's further right, and further away. That's a no. And that's how it'd be in real life. Go great practice. Out if great you practice want to. for the bean. Yes, you don't. You better put it that way. Go to the toilet. Stick it that way. Don't stick it this way. It ain't happening. Lord, I don't understand that. That is for Wait, is that different? Is that different? Got me being this close. Look at that. See, it looked like it's about to try to go in my mouth. No. Just open your mouth a little wider. That's <laughs> it's not real. <laughs> it had nothing to do with her eye. It just got close to her mouth and she didn't know how to react. Yeah, that's what it was. You got to speak in the mic. Look, when I come this close, it looks like you got shields on. You shouldn't get pink eye. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, see, as, as as you can see, we got a we got a lot of open your mouth or move your hand away though. No, <laughs> I mean, I mean y'all knew half of the stuff we had to go through and endure to get here, and the story laughter kept us. The, yeah, but we all did the it together. We learned yeah. about each other is just you but know. The, the funny fun. thing though of how we even came up with like the toast idea was because of the brunch. Yeah. Oh my god. The gosh, fifteen the mile brunch. brunch. Yes. <laughs> that was like literally like. Oh, it, it oh, me who, yes. who, who parked the closest? Who parked the closest? Monique and D. Yeah. yeah. We parked like six blocks away. Oh, it was super hot outside. Oh, it was just us. It was just you and I. Everybody. Yeah, my little yeah. car, car squeezed right in the spot that was on course. And I'm here, trying so. here, I'm trying to be cute. Putting on these summer shoes I ain't got no business wearing. Mm. I've only worn <laughs> maybe twice before that time. I had on tennis shoes, thank God. I, yeah, yeah. I had, well, I guess I should have put tennis shoes on with my dress then. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. That would have been cute. So that 15 was blocks. Oh, wow. so, yeah. And sorry. the restaurant was called Toast. Yeah. yeah. And, <laughs> and, and, and I and I fell in love with it that day. I really liked that. And I still keep going back and back. And that's you how do? it is. Yes, I love it. And so she goes without No invite? No, right? because it, no, it don't be like that. It'd be like no, if the no, kids wake just, up and no, say, let's go to breakfast. Just keep going back and back. And back I do, back and back, 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 back. Because that's the only one I pick. I'm yet, I want to try the sweet diner. I went, but they couldn't sit us all during COVID. And so I never still got the chance to experience it. 
it's but good. I heard. But I it's heard very it when them kids call or my it's sister really call good. and say, so "Let's go know, get I breakfast." Been. The first thing come out is toast. And then when I go there, I remember where we sat. Yep, I remember that table. the oh. picture we took, and I yep. always try to yes. still get that table. So that's that's special. But to me, the thing place. is, is toast comes with entertainment. Do you remember the people that were at the bar? Oh my god! Yes. Uh, oh, the the, the right. lady. The, there's two girls and the guy. Oh yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, it was it was it was some oh, they were lit. at the bar they when we went lit, one time lit. too. But that one girl came in like that one girl came in like forty five minutes after those two had came in. And then her mimosas were bottomless. And I swear she must have threw back what thirty in like thirty yeah, minutes. But it, I mean you have to realize that literally when they say bottomless mimosas, the first time I went was um with there my be cousins a hotel and, somewhere you know, closer there, bush. Our, a bunch of our friends and <laughs> I like literally I, I was finishing one and I put the cup down and he had given me another one. I'm like, oh, okay. And I'm sipping and finishing it one. And I set this one down and I put it next to the other cup. And then I said, oh, okay, we have another one here. So yeah, it, it was, <laughs> well, I think they said I was humping on the bushes or humping on a tree when we left. She found and- her bush. <laughs> she found so bush. We were just talking about recently to go back there. I'm like, I'm just like, man, like they my bosses are potent like if you so, after you have so many mm-hmm. and you sit there and you laugh oh. and you talking but when you stand up it's a whole different <laughs> when you stand up it's I, a whole different ball i think park. we need to do that like we need to do like where we go to a restaurant and we do the mimosas i think that'd be a lot of fun oh, yeah. oh, and then maybe and maybe, a, ho- maybe a hotel or something it, across the street so we can just crawl our asses over Wait. there and pass out you Wait, know, i got a handy i got a handicap sticker so i'll be parking everywhere parking on top of construction and why don't you just pick us up then my oh, I'm about up. to give me one in a minute too, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Um, you mean like a vlog, like a video vlog, or a vlog is in like we're writing it out? No, no, I ain't writing. I ain't writing. So you out. want a video vlog? A video. Vlog. Let's go yeah. ahead and video say vlog. I ain't writing shit out. You <laughs> wanted <laughs> to? I did. I'm trying to stop cursing. Oh well. Okay, girl. I'm trying. It ain't working. No, sometimes. it ain't. You've been trying since I started, Monique. I think when I started too, I think you were trying. <laughs> Um, I will not be cursed double out that, every day. That, Go to hell. That. Almost, well, almost five years. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I yeah. I'll probably calm down. But cursing, yeah, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. Just call me Peter too. Sorry, uh, you know. you're a sailor. Well, I mean, around certain people, I, I can. Oh yeah, I can absolutely. Turn it on, I can turn, turn it off. It off. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But sometimes, yeah, it's just. It just kind of come out. It just kind of kind of come out and just has its way, has its way, whatever. Right. But, you ugly, but your nails are beautiful. They so beautiful, but your ugly. Come on, birthday Thursday. What Sir? you thought? And hey, we had your birthday already. Yes. Oh, June is coming up. Yes. Oh. Oh, I'm June. glad you remembered. Yeah. I'll think of you when I'm on the beach. Yeah. Same okay, time. So what are it's a we doing? Place. I can't wait to yeah. see your pictures. Oh, I don't, know, I don't have no plan. I'm not, I probably I'm going to get my hair done and makeup done and probably just sit in the house. Oh hell no! Yeah, no. At least have a photo shoot uh-uh. or something. Make a I'm music like, video or something. At least get bent over the couch or something. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh but, okay. Um, well, you said just sit there. I'm gonna need you to include all the details. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna need you to vlog it. All right. Exactly. <laughs> That's the um, one part that you know I don't want to see. But the, no, I don't want to see that. I might go no. live. Just no. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to watch that live. I'm going to go live. Just oh my gosh, me. Monique, we're at 3 million viewers and it's only been 10 minutes. Girl, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be you know, one from St. Thomas. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Let me let me set up. You know, let if you pull those out, catch up to it. If you pull quick. those out, I'm gonna fall asleep. I know, you're gonna sleep. <laughs> oh yeah, my god, guys, we're viral. <laughs> right, literally. <laughs> yes, the big four O. Go ahead and make our numbers go up. You'll be the one to do it. Go on the- oh, D2. Make D our would. numbers shoot through the roof. Both yeah. y'all. Go on here. D would. I'm gonna get I'm us some Christian. viewers. <laughs> like- then they're gonna be ready to watch us every time. What's they gonna be doing today? Who <laughs> boo gonna pop out today? <laughs> Yeah, my oh, I'm gonna pop out booze now. I might have cleaved it. No, I, I do both. I mean, but I mean, I, I have to pipe. They're gonna be like, "What head I techniques is Mo gonna get?" So, I was gonna say, I don't think my boyfriend will like. It. Yeah, I'm engaged, so I do have to pipe down some. But hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. I don't I mean, think he will like this join me. Yeah. I forgot you still got your boyfriend. This is new to us. This is new. I like mm-hmm. this. Actually, I don't know. actually, when do we get to meet your fiance and your boyfriend? 
Oh. Y'all ain't never met my fiance? No. 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 Not, not respectfully or no. what word am I trying to Facebook. In person or... I met him in, in, in the inbox. <laughs> oh, yeah, you did. You did because he sent me some flowers to work. Facebook. And when are we going to meet your Jamaican boyfriend? <laughs> yeah, when you showed us a picture of. Uh, uh, no, if you book. I don't have a book. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck if you know. <laughs> well, he ain't. She, she ain't trying to get that nut nut. Uh, <laughs> no, so if you have a boyfriend. Oh, man, you got a husband. You got a boyfriend. Yeah. Me or you, cool. Don't, don't even. Y'all could just keep that conversation over there. No, we need to do Because you cool. need to, too. I'm a full time aunt and a part time mom, okay? That's all I got going on. <laughs> right. Hey, y'all got to have some babies. I'm vlogging some speed dating with you guys. Oh, yeah, we oh, could. Oh, we will. We will. Do some speed I'm, dating. Yeah. Well, I mean, I can host it. I can't participate. No. We Find us some a, good bachelors. Yeah, lock and key where you have to put a lock around your neck and they have the keys and they have to put their keys into your lock. You know? Yeah, they want to put no, keys in the locks. All right. Yeah. All right. Show <laughs> them. Lock it up. Yeah. Congratulations, you guys have unlocked. You can go use the bathroom or the bedroom in the back. <laughs> hey, be careful. Some people are like, okay. <laughs> okay. They'll, they'll, Which they'll, way did you say go? Yeah, right, left. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll find a warehouse downtown. Hey, you could do that. Speed date. Yeah, that would be nice. That'd be dope. To be Post or something like that. Because, you know, I, I see that too on Facebook. Ain't no good men in, in Milwaukee. Ain't no good women in Milwaukee. See, and Lord and behold. You know what? I was, that, I've been single, like, single, single since my uh, daughter's father passed, which was in 2006. Mm -hmm. The whole time, the guy I'm engaged to now, we was next door neighbors when we were about eight or nine i couldn't stand him and he claimed he liked me but i no whatever you could tell he but you were really me. young at that time yeah and I, he said i was real rude he said he would speak to me and i would shoot up my middle finger or I tell him that. well we can see that yeah we walk into the office and yep yeah, yeah. we literally, literally reconnected over me uh, buying some shoes from i mean we could you know connect over facebook but it, it was weird and so now we're engaged now a whole year later. <laughs> yeah. so. Can't wait for that wedding. Oh, boy. Right, I've boy. already got it planned out, so you can't get mad at me, but it has something to do with Baby Shark. Bitch, let me tell you something real <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to speak directly into this mic because I want you to hear this and read my lips. If you bring any type of Baby Shark into my wedding, wedding or wedding reception, I oh, will reception. personally fuck you out <laughs> and then i'll say i love you afterwards but you might not be able to get back up right away. <laughs> right but i was just i was just thinking about the flower girl exchanging them for baby shark <laughs> i'll be like what you like because <laughs> hey, like, like like when she came yeah. to my house <laughs> literally <laughs> oh yeah i, I spent like a, a whole day party. cutting those up yes i had a freaking candle party and that's another thing about us too we also hang out outside of work. Yeah. So yeah. they've been to my house and, you know, it was just like, I had a party and um, after everybody left, it was a candle one, party. It was a candle you. party. But for one, to mind you, when it was time to pay, Megan said, do you take baby shark money? And I looked over at her <laughs> and she took a wad of baby sharks that she had cut up and threw them in the ceiling. And oh, yeah, and then she like, made it rain. And she made it rain. <laughs> and it was everywhere. And everybody <laughs> knows me knows that I hate baby shark with a passion <laughs> after we cleaned it up and everybody left i'm surprised they didn't go into the candles because there right. was like 15 was lit candles on your desk yes. <laughs> i went in the bathroom and i'm getting myself ready to shower and go to bed there's baby sharks all in my bathroom all in my cabinet oh, in your microwave in my microwave in your bed and did yeah that's the thing it was in my uh, microwave it was in my refrigerator when i went to go in, in my bed i pulled my sheets back on my bed and there were baby sharks all in my freaking bed yeah. <laughs> and well, i didn't do it on my own more time to call. <laughs> one more time one oh, more time cool. no my kids oh. i'm innocent in all this oh okay cool so, I mean, oh, not to mention two of the I yeah, videos with, you cut now. Cool. With, <laughs> I always, in my past life, <laughs> oh, listen, right. you hit some splits in a hot minute. Right on top of Monique, you, you what she do to you? It was on video. Did she lay on top of you or smother you? Or, oh, oh y'all yeah. wrestling. We were wrestling. Yeah, yeah. She yeah. did a wrestling move on me. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, she didn't. She crushed video. you. She that. Like, yes. She was dead ass serious about that. Yes. <laughs> that was that was nothing. And let me tell you something. I've seen Jesus. You know, <laughs> you know that one gospel song, like, if I can touch the hem of his garment, listen, 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 I was there. The garment was like, and I was like, 
and then they pulled me back in and I didn't, I didn't grab the garment because I probably wouldn't be sitting here right now but I seen it I was about to grab it because listen the move that she did on me I think I just laid there I you, couldn't you did you didn't while. move I've never seen you not move there. You just, it I was not I didn't even jump off the top rope it wasn't even like and I finish her. But I've I never seen you get so much air on your side before. You were like, cool all the time. <laughs> yes, like, and I was like, oh, I'm glad I didn't get that. That's there. why you I heard what I mean was in a chair. You sounded like your dog when you step on him. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I seen Jesus. Like literally, I had extended my hand. <laughs> it was going there. It's, and it's then it for me. <laughs> I, I think God was just saying, hey. It's possible. <laughs> Choose your path yeah. wisely. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was it was possible because I see it. And it was in that I moment that you decided that. to be my friend and I'm like, yes, yes, it was in that very moment. But you know what? Those to be your But those were the moments that we had, I think, the best time. Like yeah. if I could actually say that I had one job that I actually enjoyed up to a certain point was that, that department because yeah. we were <laughs> insane like mm-hmm. we did so Here's much like it, I, I brought remember when we reenacted dirty dancing oh yes i, I, I have that yes, i have Megan all those videos, videos on snapchat did, did you have you guys video have you guys seen the video no, no okay so you know that the dance scene at the end that's like monique's part okay. oh patrick <laughs> okay i told her i'll be patrick jump you know when he picked her up yeah and I was scared. She didn't take me serious. I was like baby was when him her um <laughs> baby and Patrick was in the water <laughs> and she kept she was like and then she jumped. I just knew that I was gonna flip. <laughs> but I I just couldn't do it. So then I didn't do it and they kind of forced me to they do literally it. picked oh, my ass up. Legs. They was grabbing my legs and stuff. You yep. know me when you grab my legs, I get a little excited. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But I was just like no, 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 no. Like having a heart like, no, yeah. no, I wasn't ready. And that's how I was. And they just, but shit, yeah. I mean, we had some good times. I missed most of it, but I got the end of it. I yeah. got a little and, bit. Oh, got they used to scare bit. me so much. It was an everyday thing. Every time she went to the bathroom. Yeah. Something. 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 Like, clowns, baby sharks. Yeah, I don't like clowns, balloons, or baby sharks. And like I'm balloons. telling you, it was just horrible. Like they were always, I could be sitting there writing. And they're just like, honey, can I, I mean, literally, I would jump like, out ah, my damn oh. skin. I actually did um, a snippet of like six different videos of all it is. is ah, 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 ah. <laughs> and it's me, though. It's, it's her. Me. It's all me. Yeah, it's, just it's all my, her. This is all you see on the thing. <laughs> my mouth moving. And I'm like, dude, what? Like, they used to get me all the time. Yeah, so we'll see. That's that's what I. That's why my bladder weak her. now. I know who to send a bill to. Not me. Yeah, yes. that bill going to Megan. Cause I, I, I listen. And Tina, when you finally came around, your damn oh your my God. laugh. It oh was just like something was wrong. We I couldn't could, stop. It was, know, it was over. We really haven't heard it today. She's been holding back on her laugh. No, oh no. yeah, definitely. No. She oh, has. she was coming out. It's because she forgot her depends. I have one in my purse. Yeah. You, you have to save me last time. What? That saved me. Is that why the party ended I mean, so quick? It works though. It, it helps. It helps. Like, it helps laugh, like I laugh her bladder. Cough. My cough make me use it in, in, my, in my lab. So the whole thing, <laughs> yeah, when she came in there and started Those coughing, came, I was man. scared as hell. Like, dude, what? <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh, what? Yeah. What have the worst is cough when I get a cough? It lasts forever. Like, why the hell she coughing like that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when I. I was so damn nervous. Like, dude, like we'll be laughing. I'm like, is she dying? I'm like, is she dying? Look, in the lab, we just scared the hell out of me. That's why you see what what I'm saying. Megan, she saves everything, all the crap that we used to do. Yeah, they put my face on the pen box. Oh yeah, put you in a baby. I ain't see the dude. I straight up look like my brother. Oh yeah, she did it to the doctors too. Well, that's one thing I love about. about us we were able to come together Mm -hmm. and you know within one group and able to form something else that's more positive great vibes great chemistry great energy Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so you know going forward you guys will not hear the last of us facts we are here and we you know, eventually we're going to probably take maybe requests on what you guys want to talk about or yeah, something mm-hmm, like that. But sure. that's later on down the line. Um, but, you know, we're glad that you guys have tuned in to our podcast. Um, and thank you for having us. You thank guys you got so anything much. you want to say? Before I'm just really start. excited about this opportunity. I think it's really awesome. And it brings yeah. back memories. Yeah. Like it brings it back memories for us. And 
But now we can make new memories. Yes. Right. Now we make new memories. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Facts. That's what I'm trying my facts. Facts. <laughs> so you guys tune in next time. You will hear from Powered by Toast, Coast to Coast. Holla. Holla. Yeah. <laughs>